This is like the very definition of multitasking. I'm Instagramming, filming, and trying to put this mic on while Dexter is upstairs and being quiet. Fingers crossed. Okay, so I have an awesome video for you today. I think it's awesome anyway. I get asked a lot about what should I get? I'm a beginner, I'm a new stamper, what should I buy? That's a very difficult question because each person is different. Your style changes as you begin and you start to become familiar with certain techniques or supplies and the things that you reach for the most, you know, it, it adapts, it changes. So I thought it would be cool to make a video about the like 15 things that I, I reach for on almost every card. Sorry, I keep, it's like a big dance party up in here. I'm, I'm going to talk with my hands. I'm sorry. So 15 things that I reach for on almost every card. Now, stamp sets will, will change. Uh, colors come in and out of season. Supplies or techniques that you're using uh, can vary, but these are the things that almost no matter what I'm doing on a, on a project, I'm reaching for these things, okay? So, um, and in, they're not in any particular order, okay? All of these things, I would be very sad if I like broke them or lost them or Dexter ate them or something. They're in no particular order. Scotch 3M Foam Adhesive. And I've used this. This, like, I'm, this is not as big as it once was. Big Mama roll of foam tape that you get, uh, I get mine from Amazon because they're generally the cheapest and it gets here in two days. <sighs> like I'm gonna wait till last minute. <sighs> That's never gonna happen. I reach for this to pop up things on virtually every card. It's because I like layers and I like popping up my images or die cuts or sentiments. I reach for this on almost every card. These last me a long time, like probably almost a year. Next thing, um, <laughs> my Simon Says Stamp Fog cardstock. It doesn't matter what kind of card I'm making, fog usually ends up on it in some way. I love this. I generally use it as my card bases. Um, it is a light, warm gray. It's Simon Says Stamp Fog cardstock. Love it. I'm not going to tell you how many packs of fog I have currently. That's, that's for me to know. I, let's see, oh, my pokey tool. I have several pokey tools, but I reach for this one. I have uh, this one. Okay, so this one's stamping up and uh, it does have a sharp end. This is one that I got at a local craft store and it also has a very sharp end. This is by Little B and I don't think they make it anymore. Ugh, it has an adhesive on it. But um, this one is awesome because it has a magnet on the end. Feel When I'm going to reach for a die, I reach for a die. Okay, so instead of trying to use my sometimes non-existent fingernails um, to pick something up, I just use this. And sometimes you can like hold things still when you're taping it down, things like that. It's kind of cool. Um, piercing tool, piercing tools. I don't know. I use it for a lot of things. Piercing's just one. Oh, Nina, 110 pound cardstock. I keep my pre-cut Nina uh, here next to me in my caddy, but I pre-cut it with my with one of my other things on this list, and then I keep the ream right up here under this cabinet because it's a ream. I have several reams of white cardstock in there. So, um, but I keep my pre-cut panels. I just reach for it. It's mostly white cardstock, but there's like Avery repositionable stuff, and these are not things on my list, but they're all right here, handy next to me. So we've got Scotch 3M foam 
tape. Simon Says Damp Fog cardstock. The Pokey Tool Nina 110 pound classic crest solar white cardstock. Um, oh, double sided tape right here next to me. Um, this one I think is like the Sook Wang. Uh, it's sold by different brands, but it's, you know, be creative tape. This is a slightly different type of adhesive. It's a stickier adhesive, but this is scrapbook.com. I use it for the exact same purpose and it's just different widths. I think I have a one eighth flying around here somewhere too, but, um, this is half, this is quarter. I have one eighth. I have loving my foam tapes. In fact, I reach for these where I used to reach for a tape runner. I'm reaching for these. So I just enjoy applying it and I don't know. I just, I like it. So I would not be able to not have this. This is not like what you need to be a card maker. This is, these are things that I like to reach for. You might like the tape runner or you might think that my uh, cardstock is not the best. These are the things that I, over my years of crafting card making, um, this is, these are the things that I find myself linking to constantly. Okay. Um, EK success scissors, the little cutter B or the little Teflon scissors. Now I have other scissors, but these are the ones that I reach for consistently to either cut out something fussy cut, uh, to cut my foam tape. I reach for these a lot and they I've had them a long time. I can't even remember. That's how long and they're still cutting. They're not gummed up. I don't sharpen them like Tim likes to think. So EK success scissors, I got mine at AC Moore. Scoreboard. We all have to score our cards, right? So this was just the first one that I ever bought. And this is the um, Stampin' Up scoring board. That's probably wrong. Score tool, I don't know. But um, I link to Alicia Havernick, a uh, crazy paper chick. So when I link to Stampin' Up products, I link, I just send you right to her because she's the demonstrator. But um, when I was a demonstrator, this was one of the things that I bought and it's big. I wish that I had a smaller one, but I can't justify getting a smaller scoreboard. Maybe somebody could leave me a justification in the comments below why I should try a smaller scoreboard. You guys got my back. Definitely not something that you need to have. But I love the Teflon bone folder. I'm sorry. But they're right. Really is nice to use. If you're looking to spoil yourself and you need some luxury tools in, in your craft space, um, the Teflon, this is the small Teflon bone folder. The large is longer. And then they have another one uh, that's like different ergonomics. So if you feel like you have hand cramps often, um, they have like one that looks almost like a stencil tool. But the Teflon bone folders, I'm sorry. This one's a big one. I gotta get it. The Tonic Studios guillotine trimmer. Um, I got mine on Amazon. It's not cheap. It's probably like 50 or 60 bucks. But um, I have tried many trimmers over the years and I also have this wire guide, Fisker's wire guide paper trimmer, but I hardly ever reach for that only if I really need to be precise in the wire guide. I need the wire guide, um, but it's a, that's a great trimmer, but, um, and I'm sure other people experience this, but sometimes there's a little bit of give in the track. Okay, so when there's a little bit of give in the track, you may not be able to score or cut completely straight. And that was happening to me a lot. I tried this, which I still use this, um, but you can't cut lengthwise. So I wanted to pre-cut and score my card bases. So in my little caddy, I have pre-scored Simon Says Stamp Fog card bases um, in both a like a2 uh, 
portrait and landscape versions and they're just here for me and when I wanted to pr prep these card panels in this caddy I wanted to have accurate measurements and I didn't want to have to have two different guillotine trimmers for uh, 12 by 12 cardstock because I do still purchase some 12 by 12 cardstock so I wanted to be able to basically have this be my prepping guillotine and so without this I would be miserable because this is how I get straight card bases this is how I get to prep my card panels and all of this wonderfulness because um, I have this so the wire guide is great the Tim Holtz is great for different things but this I couldn't live without this this is my baby scotch 3m foam tape Fog cardstock, Pokey Tool, Nina 110, double sided tape, EK Success scissors, scoreboard, bone folder, tonic guillotine trimmer, and my Wagner heat tool. This is life changing. There are a few things on this list that are life changing, and one of them is this heat tool. Okay, I started with the Umchika, Umchida, Umchida. I hope that's right. Heat tool. It's like. It's like silver and has purple letters on it. Anyway, I had that one. And my husband tried to get me to get a heat tool from the hardware store, um, which they go to, you will catch your paper on fire, okay? <laughs> That's how hot those things get. They will burn a hole right in your paper. So, but this one is the perfect amount where when I what I started out with didn't quite get hot enough and it was warping my paper and I was getting frustrated and unhappy and I'm like why are all these people embossing so great and my paper looks like I crumbled it up and threw it away so this heat tool it's this one's the Wagner I know they Milwaukee brand I don't know if they had some had a merge or buying of rights or I don't know I don't know it's a Wagner heat tool now. It's I would be miserable if this thing broke. I would immediately walk over to my computer and purchase another one. Stamp Shammy. Now, I don't in particular like tell you go get the Lawn Fawn one because the absorber, I used that for a long time before I broke down and bought this one. Um, this one is softer. Like it's, I don't, it's this, it, they're so similar. But if I had to say this one is a little softer, I don't know. But um, it's still very durable and I love it. So I use it to clean my stamps constantly. I use it as a rag to wipe down my surfaces. I use them a lot. It used to be pretty. It was a it was a pretty blue, um, and then I used it. But I have absorbers. I have another one from Gina K. That one I don't like as much. It's this one. Um, I like the feel of this one, so I continue to use this one. Probably should get some more, some backup chamois. Ooh, the misty. Um, this is the original six by eight, I think, um, and then this is the mini. This one just has those stickers that you can add to it to make it a different color, but it still looks pink. <laughs> it's just a lighter pink. Uh, stamp, m most incredible stamp positioning tool ever invented, or I don't know, I'm, I'm making stuff up. But um, this is life-changing. This was a life-changing invent invention, and I know that there's several out there on the market that I'm sure work just as well. I, I love these. I reach for these constantly. Um, why risk having to do it over? I mean, there are some things I still reach for with an acrylic block, but for the most part, this makes stamping fun. That frustration that you used to have is not there with these. So I reach for it constantly. And I do reach for both because your background stamps fit in here, but this is just so handy to have around. I use them both. Die cutting machines. Now, I have an overabundance of die cutting machines and I'm actually, I would love to actually have a new Spellbinders die cutting machine, but I'm not doing that because I, I do have die cutting machines, <laughs> but it's so pretty. That's with the bronze handle. I've, I've used it at Creativation. I'm 
gonna get it. I'm gonna get it eventually. Favorite is my Big Shot, my Sizzix Big Shot. Drag it over here. My Sizzix Big Shot die cutting machine. And I have the caddy. And on the caddy, I can put my little um, tape. This is my washi tape that I use to tape down um, dies and whatnot. And then I usually keep a pokey tool and over here, maybe like a pencil if I need to mark something, but um, this is my favorite. I do have a Gemini Junior that I put in timeout. That's why you don't see it there, because I put it in timeout. This, I will not get rid of it um, because it's like old faithful, you know, like this is if I come back to something time and time again, like all of these things on this list, it's got to be somewhat okay. So I said earlier that, you know, dyes and stamps and certain things will be in and out of popularity. So I didn't really have a whole lot of those to put on the, this list because I'm always constantly playing with the new, new latest and greatest stuff. But I always reach for my year next stamp stitched rectangle die second from largest it is very the very same die as the mama elephant femme frames the in the rectangle one from that set um i have them both uh so i put the one that i usually reach for and that's the your next stamp one because i'm on their design team i do have some other go-to dies i don't know is that another good video like my go-to ride or die dies <laughs> my ride or dies tag <laughs> that would be a cool video too like to show you like what i really reach for even when i'm not filming or because i do make stuff that i don't photograph or share um it doesn't mean that i didn't like those things it just means that i wasn't filming it because sometimes it's just good to create things on a whim and not have a camera in your face the last thing that i put on this list is Versamark ink. So Versamark ink is used on a, ma a major amount of my cards, mostly because of heat embossing with uh, embossing powder, but also I also reach for it to do, do watermarking or tone on tone type stamping. I reach for this more than any, even Memento. I reach for this more than Versafine. This is just the, uh, this is an incredible invention, this little stamp pad of sticky ink. <laughs> I would like to try some other brands. I have never tried another embossing ink. Maybe I have to review it for you guys. Do any of you want to know my opinion? It's okay if you don't. <laughs> I do have curiosity. What do you use? What is your go-to embossing ink? craft supplies that I reach for on a regular basis. Everything else is kind of goes with the my creative type, you know, like if I'm stenciling or alcohol inking and things like that. But these things, I kind of, I reach for these things no matter what technique I'm doing. Leave me comments down below if you disagree. I love to hear your opinions. It is not fun to have the same opinion as everyone else. So I want to know what you guys use. I want to know what's working for you. I'm sure many of you have much more experience than me and are wiser and have been through it and they, you know what the, what it is, okay? You know what is money. Tell me in the comments down below what you like and dislike, and I'd love to hear what you, what your opinions are. Ow, I just, I just paper cutted myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be. Okay, let's start again. Oh, it's, there's blood! <laughs> and the baby sticker! Come on. Black sweatpants, I'm not gonna lie. It's hard to make that sexy. There you go.